Um, yes, I want to talk to you about the Perform to Scale project. So I'm Jo Raven, I'm from the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the background to the Perform pilot, then tell you a little bit about the Perform pilot itself, and then a little bit about the, how we're scaling it up in Perform to Scale. So the initial, so the background is that having an adequate and well-performing workforce is critical to achieving universal health coverage. Performance can be improved more effectively at levels closer to frontline health workers. And it's important to invest in health managers who manage, supervise and support the frontline workers. So district level health managers or district health management teams in decentralised contexts are well positioned as they are close to the problems and know what they can achieve with their available resources. So with this in mind, we developed the PERFORM project, which is supporting decentralised management to improve health workforce performance in Ghana, Uganda and Tanzania. And this was kind of the pilot study. So it was fun also funded by the EC, and ran from 2011 to 2015. And what we did with it in that was developed a management strengthening intervention for management teams at district level in, th in the three countries to improve both health workforce performance and service delivery more generally. So how did we do it? So that diagram, does this point? Yes. So this diagram here shows the intervention. And basically, it's using an action research approach. The research team worked with three DHMTs teams in each country to go through this process. So the first bit is the planning stage, where we do an initial engagement with the district health management teams to explain the whole process. They go on then to do a situation analysis within each district to find out what their problems are in terms of workforce <coughs> performance or service delivery. They then go on to a workshop where all three districts come together and do a problem analysis, an in-depth <coughs> problem analysis to work out the root causes to those problems. And then another workshop where they develop the strategies to address those problems. They go on then to actually act, so implement those strategies, and then go on to observe and reflect. So what, you know, what, what are the effects of those strategies? You know, what worked well? What worked not so well? What should we change with those strategies? And round again we go in this action research cycle, tweaking those strategies, changing them, or maybe thinking, actually, that really worked well. Let's continue with those strategies and choose another problem that we've identified in our situation analysis. So this was the intervention, and the key results were that this MSI was really appropriate to the needs and the work patterns of the DHMTs. They were short workshops, just two, two days where they came together. So it, it was a good way of doing it. So it also showed that it improved their management competences in terms of problem analysis, prioritization of problems, working out strategies that integrated human resource management strategies and health systems ones together. And it also produced changes in team behaviors and confidence. So they worked as a team because the thing with the workshops and the meetings was that it, was a, it created a space for those DHMTs to come together to solve problems and think about those problems together as a team and draw upon their own unique positionality within the district, their experiences, and be able to solve problems together. So it did change that dynamic with the, with the um, district health management teams. And there were positive results in regarding workforce performance, for example, reduced absenteeism, or incre uh, and also had effects on service delivery. And that, they were, they were sort of minor at the start, but with repeated MSI cycles, those were, would increase. Okay, so that was the pilot. So with that in mind, we thought, well, actually, um, you know, we wanted to scale the, this up in terms of trying to um, achieve, to contribute to achieving universal health coverage. So now we are scaling this up. Oh, 
actually, hang on, the, there's a paper there to um, show the, that that's the evaluation of the whole project. So you can have a look at that if you like to get more information about like that. So we are scaling up this intervention, and this is in the Perform to Scale project. So I want to talk to you now about a little bit about our scale up process. So we've, exp um, we've adapted the ExpandNet framework to scale up this management strengthening intervention. So I'm going to take you through each of, each of these little bits, really. So for, for a start, we've, um, we've de developed a national scale up steering group. So this is to represent the Ministry of Health or the user organisation to steer the scale-up strategy, the scale-up of the management strengthening intervention during the project and importantly beyond the end of the project. So they make strategic decisions. So they develop a country-specific strategy for scale-up with our support and adapt this as they go along. They also identify the districts, they identify the resource team. So the next one is this resource team. So they're the kind of implementers of the intervention at the district level. So they go to the districts and facilitate that um, management strengthening intervention at the, at, at the districts and plan the scale up process in sort of more minute detail. So then we've got the intervention there, which is the Action Research Management Strengthening Intervention. And then we've got this vertical scale-up in, or institutionalisation. So by setting up and supporting these structures, we plan to institutionalise the management strengthening intervention in scale-up through policy, political, legal or other health systems changes so that they're included in policies, plans or guidelines. And this requires ongoing stakeholder engagement throughout the process. The next one is about the horizontal scale-up. So this is the expansion of the intervention across the country. So in Perform to Scale, we will implement the management strengthening intervention in a district group. So that's three districts coming together that are close to each other go through the intervention, and then move on, they carry on with that, and then we move on to another district group and go, over, go through the same process. So slowly building up more and more districts being covered. This is our initial plan that we met, set out to do, but this is going to very much depend on timing, and resources and whether we will actually achieve this number. So basically this is saying that we're going to, in each country, try to cover 12 districts and 30 different cycles within there. So it's quite ambitious, we're realising now. <laughs> so, but of course scale up isn't happening on its own it, it, or in a vacuum. The whole environment is influencing that. So we're keeping an eye on that. So what's happening in terms of policies? What's happening in terms of other programmes coming in? What influence do they have on that, um, that scale-up process? So we're keeping an eye on that. And we're doing that through lots of different ways, which we will discuss later. But basically, we've got a whole process evaluation and impact and outcome evaluation process going on at the same time as the scale-up process. Thank you.